All right. Um, hello, everyone. I would like to introduce you to Charlie Lawrence. Um, he's the founder of Gecko um, Squared, an advertising service that helps clients um, scale their businesses by creating paid advertising funnels um, that attracts, engage, and converts ideal customers for their clients. Now, Charlie has been using lead quizzes um, to generate um, leads for his business for quite a while. And um, he has also been using this to try to understand his audience a bit deeper on, the, on a deeper level. And some of the results he has gotten so far has been mind blowing. And also that's why we decided to um, have a sit down with Charlie today to speak about his quiz funnel strategy and you know, see what he's been doing um, to, with quizzes to grow his funnel. Um, you're welcome, Charlie Lawrence. Thank you for joining me on the call today. I'm glad hey. to have you. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this because this is, for us, it's been a game changer in terms of lead generation um, as one of our main lead magnets. So yeah, it's uh, happy to come on and just dive into it in more detail. Perfect, perfect. All right. Um, so I guess the first question I have for you, Charlie, is you know, what made you decide to build a quiz funnel? You know, what kind of triggered this yeah. for you? And what were you using initially mm -hmm. for your um, lead generation um, yeah. campaigns? before quizzes? Yes, really. I mean, that's a really good question. So before quizzes, we were running kind of like micro video trainings, guides like PDFs uh, and things like that. So kind of like standard lead magnets, we were using those. And then we always found that you couldn't segment well enough before someone opted in. And, and it was, so email had to do a lot of heavy lifting for that. And so we wanted a lead magnet that was more interactive that had a higher level of commitment that someone had to make for like to become a lead uh, because we know that if you have a you know if they say like yes to giving us information having filled out our quiz uh, we can then based on their specific result bucket them into the uh, kind of like segment them based on whether they're the right business to then become an agency client depending on that quiz result so we just wanted a more interactive lead magnet um, and quizzes was something that I had heard of, but I spent a long time researching the best platform to use. And I obviously ended up going with lead quizzes may, for two main reasons. First, it was easy to use. And second, it looked good. Like from a UI perspective, all the other ones just looked Am I allowed to swear on this? Um, <laughs> they, they looked terrible and it didn't reflect like the brand representation mm. that we had that we wanted to give out to our potential customers. Like we needed a piece of software that aligned with how we looked um, and was also easy to use on our end that wasn't overly complicated, but had everything we needed in one place. Mm. And, you know, we've, we've stuck with you guys ever since because it's just, and we advise like any, but we advise uh, clients to do lead magnet strategies, we're always advising quizzes because it's it's a lead magnet type we found to just be extremely successful for ourselves. Exactly. I mean, with um, lead quizzes, it's quite user friendly. You know, so yeah. if you have your questions dialed in properly, mm -hmm. you can use this to segment your audience yeah. into different you know buckets, and that mm -hmm. way you can send out tailored messages yeah. to them. Yeah. yeah. And you can also customize your quiz to be similar to your brand. You know, that yeah. way it doesn't look like. You're using two different platforms, yeah. Mm -hmm. All Definitely. right, perfect. And okay, that, um, for your quiz, mm -hmm. the one we have in here, so Facebook yeah. ad strategy, um, yes. take the two question Facebook ad quiz to discover the best ad campaign to implement for your business. Mm -hmm. How did you go about creating this quiz? And what is the purpose? So this is, you know, this is obviously for our kind of core, one of our core paid media uh, services, which is Facebook advertising. Uh, and we basically, when we look through all of our clients, how we were determining their strategy on, you know, a step further down the funnel, which was a strategy session was we'd ask them about their marketing assets and then kind of bucket them into one of four strategies. And then I thought, well, you know, how can we actually pre-frame people with that answer before they book a call with us so they, they are better quality lead? And it was just a case of taking kind of the two core questions that we would always ask potential clients and just putting them at the start of the funnel. You know, do you have website traffic? Do you have engaged audiences? And then based on that, you'd have one of four quiz results. And then depending on what your result was, they then go through a 
eight day email flow to then convert them into a uh, a strategy session call with me, which then goes into proposal and then they convert to a client. So it was taking something we'd already spoken to clients about further down the funnel and just positioning it on the front end. Um, and it's just been extremely successful. So Charlie, let's take it a step back. Okay, yeah. so you said you created four funnels, correct? And based on the way they answer the questions, yeah. the questions they get yeah. um, sent into one of those four different mm -hmm. funnels you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now this is one of the um, strategies. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the strategies. All right. So yeah. basically, when they complete the quiz, they get redirected to one of those four landing pages mm -hmm. you have. All right. So yeah. this is the landing page for Easy Win website. website. Yes. Yeah. All right. I see you have a bit of explanation on how yeah. it works. Yeah. Okay. All right, get help, apply yeah. now. What, so, what happens to, if I click this call to action? So that then goes to a strategy session, uh, like booking page, which mm -hmm. should do okay. when it loads. Uh, that goes to a strategy session booking page. And that's kind of the next step we want people to take uh, to then jump on a call with us to dive into more detail on the strategy um, that we talk about. So, you know, there's only, depending on what quiz result you get, um, you know, we kind of run through the strategy in more detail. And then we say, you know, if you are already problem aware, you know, you're not growing your business, you're struggling with paid media, and you want to become, you, know, you want us as your solution to solve the problem of growth within your business, you can then book a strategy session with me. And that call to action is reinforced in the email sequences. So it's more like a case study based yeah. Uh, email sequence. It's like, hey, here's the results we got. Here's a problem you may be facing. Um, and where, you know, whereas if you are a smaller business that doesn't have marketing assets to use in paid media, and you get like a from scratch strategy result, as an example, yeah. you're then going to go in more of a content funnel because your business isn't typically at the size where you can do agents done for you agency services. Okay. Um, okay. And so that's how we've like segmented people based on their quiz result, depending on the level of impact we can have and often what size the business is, because, um, you know, often smaller businesses can't afford done for you services because they are, you know, the most expensive service iteration that we offer, because obviously my team does it all for you. Okay, perfect. And what I love about this landing page is the fact that, you know, you have resources that's yeah. you know, kind of, um, educates the um, yes. the quiz taker, and then yeah. you have a call to action, yeah. and then you have more resources, yeah. and then you have the same call to action, and so on, which is great because yeah. you know the whole goal is to try and educate your audience, even mm -hmm. if they don't at that point in time, you know, schedule a consultation or make a mm -hmm. purchase. The fact that you're educating them over yeah. time, they may decide to come back and have a look at your brand because they trust yeah. you, you know. So yeah, yeah this is this is really good work. Okay, now um, how are you currently drive? I noticed first of all, yeah. I noticed that you have the quiz embedded on the homepage. Yes, so it's actually um, we've actually changed it. So start here, I believe. Okay. Yeah, that takes you to the quiz. The other start here yes. button takes you somewhere okay. else because we're still, we're updating our website at the moment. But yeah, so that's our like first part of getting someone to become a lead is okay. okay we need you to take this quiz and then you go into um so this is like version 10 of this landing page we've actually okay. tested 12 versions wow. through paid media um and version 10 is the most uh, has, has the highest conversion rate and so you know we're version four of the quiz version 10 of the landing page you know we've spent easily like 50 grand on Facebook ads, uh, mm -hmm. driving quiz opt-ins. You know, we've driven almost 4,000 opt-ins for the quiz. That's generated, I think when we last worked it out, that's generated over $800,000 in new business through the quiz funnel. Right. So, you know, it's it's been a really valuable acquisition strategy for us to use a quiz as our, as one of the lead magnets to find new agency clients. Obviously it then aligns with paid media um, and Facebook advertising being the primary way we were attracting and finding those new people. Cause obviously it, it makes the most sense, you know, here's a Facebook ads quiz, you're already on Facebook or Instagram. 
you're a business owner, you're an e-commerce owner, you know, you're not getting the results you want. Click here to take the quiz, find out the strategy that works, and then take it one step further if you want our help. Yeah, perfect. And I can see on your account, you have about different versions of the quiz. Yeah. But looking at it in total, you have more than 30 something thousand views yeah. to this quiz and yeah. over 10,000 responses. And you just yeah. mentioned you have about 4,000 contacts generated. Yes. Which is great. That's great. So wait, if yeah. I understand you correctly, um, Charlie, you use Facebook ads to drive yeah. your customers to this landing page mm -hmm. where you have the quiz embedded, okay? Yeah. And when they take the quiz, yeah. Um, I also noticed I saw a Facebook pixel and a MailChimp yeah. integration yeah. on your account. So that means um, all the events have been tracked yes. all the, okay, using the Facebook pixel. Yeah. And with the MailChimp, when they complete the quiz, they get funneled. Do you yeah. have like an automated yes. um, funnel for each of the yes. results? Yes, okay. we do. So we, yeah, so we have, uh, depending on your quiz result, you get tagged in MailChimp. And based on that tag, which is based on your quiz result, you then go into a uh, like an eight day email flow, which mm -hmm. then pushes a call to action uh, to book a strategy session to then become, you know, take the next step to becoming a client, basically. Yeah. And that and those emails obviously vary depending on what result you get. So it's, you know, for us to deliver the biggest impact for clients, we have to ask loads of questions. And this is kind of just the start of it. Um, and so, you know, just having like a PDF guide that everyone downloads where the consumption rate is much lower just doesn't work anymore. Like you have to be really specific and quizzes are one of the only lead magnet types that allow you to do that. And the segmenting is very specific to the scenario that person is in based on obviously what their end strategy result is from the quiz. Exactly, exactly. Do you have information on the cost per lead? Yes. So we, if I look over our ad spend, we pay about $13.50 per um, opt-in for the quiz. $13.50. Okay. So, $13.50, yeah. Okay. yeah. So we, yeah, we spent over 50000 on Facebook and Instagram ads uh, at $13.50, which is just under 4,000 leads. You know, that's generated... 800 plus thousand in uh, revenue for clients we've landed who start who all started by taking the quiz. Um, so it's been extremely ROI positive. Um, and, and I mean, now, so when we, even six months ago, when we were running Facebook ads, the quiz, our cost per opt-in was much lower than it is now. So it averages $13.50, but you know, if you look in the last 90 days or even in the last six months, we're paying, you know, over $20 an opt-in um, because that's just, you know, paid media is getting more expensive at the end of the day and exactly. it will continue to do so. But because we have high um, average client values and we have high lifetime customer values, we can pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars exactly. for a new customer because it works for us because, uh, you know, the margins work and the high lifetime customer value means we can profitably do that so it's you'll always pay more for quiz opt-ins quiz leads because there's this interactive they're, they're worth more to the business this is the thing exactly um you know you, you may pay two or three dollars or even five dollars for someone downloading a video training or a guide but when you actually look at a consumption rate your costs more than double if not triple depending on how many people actually consume it whereas with a quiz we know that we're happy to pay more because they are just a better quality person through the vehicle of taking a quiz. Exactly. And you get more valuable information about you know, that particular individual. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. All right, Charles, this has been amazing. You know, um, So quickly, do you have anything else you would like to share with our audience? Um, yes. The biggest thing I would say is like our version one of the quiz was very different to our version four. Because, um, like, we continue to update it and refine it in terms of questions, in terms of the copy we used. And ultimately, um, you have to just keep testing to find the highest conversion rate on your landing page. Because, you know, this is version 10. We've done 12 versions. And over time, based on, like, heat maps and, um, you know, the results we're getting from the conversion rate or completion rate for the quiz, we've improved that. And it's a case of, like, 
anything with digital marketing, your first iteration or implementation of a quiz of a landing page and paid media isn't going to be your best. You just have, have to keep testing to figure it out. And the more you do that, the better results you can get and the lower cost of acquisition you can get. And therefore, the higher return on um, investment, return on ad spend you can get. It's general, like, just testing principles within digital marketing. So I would say, you know, just don't necessarily expect your first quiz, quiz and landing page implementation and ads and creative to be an absolute banger unless you've got historic data that you can base it on. Like we did already. So, you know, we, were, we only have four versions in and 10 landing pages in. But when we've done this for clients... Um, who are starting from scratch, for example, you have to build up that data and it just takes, you know, six to 12 months to even figure out a dialed in acquisition funnel. Uh, but then you can sustain it. And, you know, we've been running this as a lead magnet for a long time now. That's very strong advice, Charles. Now, testing yeah. and you know, we'll keep at it, basically. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for jumping on this call. I'm sure awesome. we're all just going to learn a whole yeah, lot yeah, from yeah. this. Glad I can right. help. Um, I know you owe me your ad creative, which you're going to yes. send over to me. And I'll add yes. to this um, yeah, case definitely. study. All right. Um, thank you very much, Charles. Um, thank you so much. Awesome. Cool.